Welcome Eagle family, Joseph Swanson here with head women's soccer coach Dennis Mullins. Welcome coach. Thank you. So third year at the helm, second full, going into your second full season. Uh, what did you learn in your first full season last year that you think prepared you the most for this year? I think the most important aspect to how we've transformed this team really goes back to our recruiting. You know, we've kind of changed the philosophy about the type of player we're looking to bring into Husson and you know, the results from last year with our young players, uh, not just the accolades that they achieved, but the results and the, the, the team had and the success we had really was predicated by uh, bringing in higher level players and we've, we've done that again for our second year this year really strong recruiting class that will make a really quick immediate impact. So you mentioned the team, uh, return a pretty veteran team, played a lot of minutes, but not only a veteran team, you've got several really talented sophomores and now an incoming, incoming freshman class that will play. How do you feel that this team's grown throughout preseason? Uh, I think, you know, one of the big changes is as it's becoming more of what I would say, quote unquote, my team, you know, the mm -hmm. players that I've brought in and uh, kind of moved on from the prior recruiting classes. The chemistry's really improved. Uh, the girls just have a really good bond. There's not that kind of split anymore between the older players that I didn't know very well and the newer players are bringing in. Everybody's really starting to kind of integrate and become tightly knit, and it's really fun to watch. There's no bad blood anymore, which I'm really happy about. So recently picked as the East North North Atlantic Conference East Division favorite. Um, how does this motivate your team, or does, does your team take any stock into this heading into the season? You know, I think the recognition and the appreciation of what we did last season in conference, you know, boosts our ego a little bit, kind of validates where we think we are. Uh, I don't know that it comes as a motivation necessarily. You know, the expectation for us with us and women's soccer at this point and moving forward is to win the conference every year. That's kind of where we're setting our ball. So, you know, to have the other coaches kind of look at us in that same light, you know, it feels good. But, you know, for us, the standard is not just to win the conference, but to start making uh, more of an impact in some of our non-conference schedule right. as well and playing some of those higher level opponents in the New England area and really starting to kind of compete and put ourselves on that same level. So days away from your season opener, um, how is your team prepared throughout the preseason for a difficult task of a tough season coming up and how have they bonded? Yeah, so we, we really try and sell the main experience in our preseason. You know, we, we love our soccer, you know, we love being out here on the pitch here at Boucher Field, uh, but we also like to do some fun things off campus. We had the opportunity last week to get out and do some team paddling. Had a, we had all the girls in big 10-person canoes and we had a race up and down the Stillwater River up in Orno. We took them to Acadia National Park on Friday and got to go on a really cool hike uh, in the rain, but regardless, it was still a lot of fun. <laughs> so we're trying to really take advantage of those opportunities to not just train and play hard and work for each other on the field, but give them those fun opportunities and yet the chance to do some things off campus and really kind of just get to know each other more beyond just being teammates. Right. Um, you and I have talked before off camera about last year, one of the top scoring teams in the country. The top scoring team. The top team country. scoring country in several categories. Um, how do you feel that, is this, is this something that motivates your team going into this season to want to repeat that or even further build off of that? You know, it's interesting that that whole stat really took me by surprise last year. I mean, our opening game, we, we put a big number up and I think that kind of set the bar as the season went on. But I came into this job as a defensive-minded coach and to then end up last year in our first competitive season leading the nation in scoring was a bit of a surprise. Now, that comes from certainly playing some weak, I don't want to be derogatory, but some, some lower level conference play where you know, we have the opportunity to score a lot of goals. Uh, that happened both in conference as well as out of conference last year. But then there were a few games where we got shut out so it, it's all about the level of competition. I would be very surprised if we were to match that this season based on our non-conference schedule. Uh, we're gonna play some really tough opponents that if we score a goal, I'm gonna be thrilled because it might be a 1-0 win or maybe a draw. Right. But to repeat what we did last year uh, will certainly be a challenge. Um, 
Again, I'm not saying it's impossible because of the, some of those weaker opponents we will play on our schedule, but to do that consistently week in, week out, uh, I'd be pretty surprised. Okay. And then lastly, for our viewers at home, um, what's one strength of this team that when they tune in to watch, they're going to see on a gamely basis? I think the big difference you'll see from uh, years past is our team style and the way we play. We're really going to focus on possessing the ball more uh, and, and keeping possession as we move up the field and look to create scoring opportunities that way, as opposed to more of a traditional small college style of just kick and run. Uh, these girls are coming in with technical proficiency. They have an expectation of how we want to play, and they're slowly building into to learning that style. So I think um, overall, I think the quality and just the aesthetic of the way we play should be prettier doesn't mean we won't play rough it doesn't mean we won't play tough because we have to but uh, we look to play a style of soccer that's going to be a little more possession based and uh, you know try and really keep the opponents off balance okay well that's all the questions i've got uh, i want to thank you for taking the time to sit down and talking with me today uh, we wish you the best of luck heading into your season opener eagles open up on the road september 3rd against elms college thank you